And what's up everyone, welcome back to another video, it's me, Eclipse, and today I'm going to be testing Eastside Smart Security Premium against a, a bit of everything, because yeah, I've been promising this review for way too long, so I think it's finally time for me to actually uh, dig into this product, as I have never tried before, and a lot of people seem to use it and request it to me, so yeah, that's why, that's why we're here today. And about the user interface, I like the interface, but the thing is, when I go through all these things, it just has like these weird buttons down here. You won't spot them immediately, but you just, you just kind of have to look for them, so they're not completely clear to see. Same, it's with the setup, so yeah, it's, it's not perfect with these, but I guess it could be like over here somewhere next to the help that would be good or help should be under here and this should be up here because it's easier for you to see this advanced stuff so yeah as you can see it's pretty important to see this but yeah so we have computer protection we have real-time protection lifeguard so i'm guessing this is your day because we have um uncovering stopping never before seen threats i might try this specifically later on so we'll see how this goes and we have proactive protection, blocked and proven safe. We have hips, we know what that is, don't we? We have webcam protection, pretty cool. And now we have password manager, secure data, network inspector, blah, blah, blah. So a lot of these other stuff that we usually have. So we have updated, I've updated this a bit ago. I'll check again, nah, it's fine. We have everything up to date, so that's good. So my plan first was to get an outdated browser like Explorer, <laughs> like Explorer, and just maybe go ahead and, no I don't want Microsoft Edge, shut up. Yeah, just give me Microsoft Explorer, yeah give me the Explorer. I don't care. I don't want Edge either. Please shut up. Okay, bad, bad. And now that we are out with this, I have actually got a bunch of links. Unfortunately, the website where I get these links just died in the middle of me trying to get some. You probably know this website, but it, it was down at the time. So yeah, this is all I got in that uh, time frame. But it's gonna be enough to determine if this product has well thought out protection so first thing first I'm gonna try a actual myro link into the Explorer to see if he said detects um, if I want to download something malicious from an outdated browser I'm curious if it does or not so we got that let's see oh so it does all right so this one was blocked I, yeah, I had to disable the protection. It's all enabled now as you can see So this one was blocked. Let's keep going. Let's see this one is gonna be probably very difficult to block But let's see if it's blocked or not. Oh, it is blocked. Nice This one was blocked altogether. Very cool. Let's go with this. It also blocked. So this is three already blocked Out of three. Very cool. Now we have the fourth link also blocked Cool cool we having really good um, website protection right here very very cool very good web signatures I can see that so yeah we're having clean sheet so far two links to go detected what can I say <clears throat> and dead alright so for the link test, we got a clean sheet from all of the links that I've tried. So that is very cool. All right, so now <clears throat> it's time for the part two of the test, which is malware samples. So there's going to be two parts to the part two. One part, me scanning the folder, seeing how good the signatures are, and then running the rest. And then the other part is going to be me zero day running those, so with the lifeguard only. So we'll see how that behaves, but first I want to keep the signatures enabled. So to drag the stuff onto my desktop here, I'm gonna have to pause 
the protection for a little bit. Doesn't matter how long because I'm gonna be done pretty quickly. All right, let's let me get this and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back and as you can see, we have a lot of backdoors in here, but that is beyond the point because we also have Trojans. So, and a GU loader, which I actually have a sample in my collection. Let's say the GU loader source code. I have a sample there. So we have 51 items. It's gonna be good enough to determine the results as well as do a, you know what I mean, with the zero day component test. So yeah, <clears throat> now we got this out of the way. Let's just scan this whole folder first and we'll see what ESET has to say about it. All right, so we have a bunch of files that could not be cleaned automatically. we we'll just do delete on those, so yeah occurred 51 okay this one I think should not work so I think this one is broken yep all right this is a hundred percent detection ratio for the scan very good detection ratio and great signatures I gotta say Th these are all like from today so pretty impressive now let me get my samples back and we'll run some of them zero day to see how lifeguard responds to those I'll be back alright we're back and it's time to you know try this and uh, I have to enable protection actually no no no, no. let me not uh, let me uh, enable these sure I'm gonna enable these yeah but I will keep this off. So now we have ESET lifeguard and proactive protection with hips. So we're gonna. This is gonna be very interesting. I also really like how it de describes the each individual component uh, in detail, what it does. So this is never before seen threats. Suggests that it's capable of blocking zero day attacks. So this is what I would say is the behavior component. So we're gonna take a look at this now specifically. So yeah, without any further ado, let's start running these. This one is for some reason not working. That's fine. Let's try this. Also not working. Also not working. Also not working. Also what? Why are they not working? They're just not working. Okay, sure. We'll get the this forgot to install net framework my bad guys my bad right, let's see so we got it right here and it was killed possibly by ESET not sure we do have some activity going on is there a payload in memory? No, I don't think so. So I think it was killed. I think it was killed. Yeah, it's, I think it was killed. Let's keep going. It's right here. It's hitting our CPU right now. Now it's just not active anymore. Okay, nothing is going on. It was hitting our CPU a second ago, but now it's just not doing anything. That's that's weird. Let's keep going, see what it does. This one is not doing anything. This one was detected, nanocore. Kinda expected this, gotta say. This one I no not know what it's doing. So let's delete this. Let's keep going. This one is dead, dead, uh, apparently unreadable, dead, dead, let's see, is the agent in memory, okay I don't think this thing even ran, actually, actually I don't think this thing even ran right now. I gotta check that out in a second. No, on this this one is just still in the memory, not doing it. Let's run it again. Nothing. It's just nothing. 
Either that or it just died. Cool, let's see. Yeah, it definitely did something like that. Let's try this. This one is dead, even though I have 64 bit system. This one just. Oh, nice. We'll try this. <clears throat> oh, to IT script. Interesting. Oh, it's also killed. I think he said, yeah, it's detecting. It's actually detecting the stuff. That is cool. I don't know what this thing's doing, but it's definitely not good. Try this. Zero. Windows cannot find zero. Oh, this thing is not legit, and I do not think it's good. Okay, this one was killed. Very cool. Corpo.ex, man. Amazing. Let's try this. This one is not doing anything. It's dead. So I might as well kill it because it's just nothing. So this is definitely very not legit at all. It has gone somewhere. No way to be seen. Okay, so these all were detected. Let's try this. Okay, that just restarted my explorer. It just restarted my explorer. I still have the auto IT script going crazy. Let's see if we have any other things going on. Any sus stuff. The auto IT script is pretty sus. But let's see if there's anything actually sus. See, so that was clearly something bad going on there explorer that is definitely explorer that is definitely explorer is it explorer uh, it doesn't look like explorer nah bro no this is definitely a malicious process i can tell yeah this is this is a malicious process a hundred a million percent not even a hundred percent a million percent all right let's keep going now i guess This one was detected, I think. Explorer is still in memory. Bad. So the script is still going off. No idea. This is a malicious process in memory. This one was detected, clearly. Alright, so we got this one detected. Let's try this. Sends a really quick error message. It's dead. This has been detected as malicious uh, address, so we're gonna count that as a block. Let's keep going. Oh, um, let's restart later. Threat was found in memory. Yeah, could have imagined. Wow. Okay, it keeps finding it. Wow. Could have imagined that. Yeah. Another agent detected. Alright, so I think this was... No, nah, this thing is still open. Okay, cool. Let's kill it, let's see. Okay, just like that. Let's keep going. CFAR, this is a... Um, Non-legit process. Yeah, it is. It is definitely. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This is definitely a virus. <clears throat> so we got a active thing in memory. Let's see if I can get ESET to respond. Ah, ESET isn't responding to this zero day. And now the process has died off. So I guess it's it did a weird error message again and now it's dead. Okay. Keeps trying to contact the same address, failing to. Yeah, let's try this. Explorer still in memory. Legit as frick. Okay, this one was definitely. Yeah, okay. Clearly. Clearly, ESET knows something is wrong here. Clearly, ESET knows. So Explorer is still really high in the... This is a malicious process, by the way. Um, nothing else. Only the Explorer process. 
right now. And this thing. This is the only two things that are in memory right now. So we'll keep an eye on these two. These two are, I think, both open. Yeah. Alright, let's, let's try this one. This one was suspended for some reason. <clears throat> don't know why let's keep trying someone was also suspended suspended it's not doing anything so I guess it's safe to assume that I can just kill them Th these were just gonna keep being suspended so might as well not do it this one is dead Suspended. Then let's try this. Suspended. This one did a command prompt. It was a minor nice. Very nice detection there. This was, yeah. And it was deleted, nice. Let's try this. Suspended. None of the installers work. For real. Like, they are all just getting suspended immediately. Yeah, why? Like, this thing is not gonna run. So, might as well just delete it. Let's try this. Yeah, it's, it's in memory and it's hitting the CPU right now. Okay, I highlighted it. So you can see where it is. Now, um, let's try this shell code. It is also in memory. The exploit was already done. I think. Let's try the exploit again. So yeah, I just execute some shell code and just dies. Okay. Cool. Let's try this. Oh my god, I did not like that. I did not like that. Do not know what that is. Let's try this. Injector was killed. This one was killed. Let's try this. There's nothing seemed to be happening right now. Is it in memory? Not sure. <clears throat> no, it's not in memory. Spy winner, okay. So, Raccoon Stealer. Let's try these. Let's try uh, all of the different versions of this. So now we definitely have some. Come on, now something has to happen. We have so many stuff in memory. But yes, again we have the lifeguard enabled. Okay, this is not gonna work. We already cleared it up. Let's try the this. And for the end, let's try this. Cannot be run under virtual environment. Gee, I wonder why. Alright. So I've ran everything. I think all of these are active. So I'll close this down and I'll bring some second opinion scanners and see what's going on. I'll be back. Alright, so as you can see, this is not exactly the greatest result zero day wise. So. If we have from here all the way to these random executables. So yeah, these are definitely apparently all malicious. Explore.exe, yeah, this is the one I was talking about. It was detected. We have a ton of stuff that I've not expected to actually get detected. So all of this is just malware. <laughs> kind of sad. So yeah, with all of these things into the system, I guess that is not good. So now give me, give me a second. Let's try some other stuff like a ransomware. 
because I also want to try that and we'll see how it behaves. Be back. Okay, so I got a bunch of ransomware here going on. And now I'm gonna scan this whole folder first and we'll see what it detects. What it doesn't, I'll run myself. So if it detects everything, I'm gonna get a random sample and run it zero day and we'll see what happens. So let's scan this and see what happens. Okay, so these were not detected, so I guess I'll check delete to see what happens. If it's gonna clean everything, then it's a clean sheet here. Okay. So, these two files are not really interesting to us, so we'll extract the lock with 2.0, which for some reason, even though... Okay, give me a sec. For some reason, even though it was packed, it still wasn't detected, so we'll try that out. Was detected, alright, cool. Was detected, zero day, let's try these. Don't know what that meant. Alright, someone was killed. This, these three are dead. And lock bit was blocked. So open in wow it's open in sheesh it's open in this what c windows system 32 command.exe oh my god this is crazy let's open file location real quick yeah okay uh let's just count what he said and it was detected so yeah, as I expected, it was detected. So, what do I have to say about ESET now? Hmm. Well, it is a pretty solid product. Like yeah, it left a lot of things like this. Yeah, you know. And yeah, it's not great zero day because clearly, as you can see, these three items were left in the memory. So. Yeah, it's not the greatest thing ever, but it is definitely decent. So, Yeah, I would say it is a good antivirus. And that's as far as I would have gone. So, yeah. I know I had the fob protection disabled because, of course, I was testing those things zero day, like I said. So, again, this is a pretty decent product. I had quite a lot of fun trying this out, and yeah. Hope you find this video informative and I hope you enjoyed it. And with that out of the way, I'll see you guys in the next one.